It used to be every town, big or small, had a blacksmith. Well, mechanics are the new blacksmiths. But back in 1989, we met one man keeping blacksmithing alive with a modern twist. Here's this week's Traveler Throwback Thursday. Forget everything you know about blacksmiths. The forges and bellows, the hot metal and billowing steam. This is what a blacksmith looks like these days. Tom Rupnow is a blacksmith. His blacksmith shop is a Toyota pickup truck. These days, if you need a blacksmith, they come to you. Four years ago, Tom sold an electronics business. He started traveling around with a blacksmith in Iowa, and he got hooked. I fell in love with blacksmithing. It just clicked with me. I, I just liked it. I, I like animals. And it's better to be out here than in on a desk job. He learned the craft at tech school, and now at 41, Tom Rupp now travels southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, making barn calls, clipping hooves, cleaning nails, shoeing a horse if need be. Everything blacksmiths have done for centuries. Everything. I've been kicked a few times, broken toes. Uh, I kicked in the face a couple years ago by a pony. Ponies seem to hurt me more than big horses, and a gentle horse will usually hurt you. Because a gentle horse, you let your guard down. A mean horse, you're always on the, the ready to get out of the way. But despite all that, this blacksmith, this farrier, as they used to be called, loves his work. I like it. The hours are long, pay is short, but they say a farrier has to have a strong back and a weak mind. You fit that bill. <laughs> well, I think I've got the strong back. <laughs> A man who truly loves his work. That's not something everyone can say these days. Tom's future is tied to the past. I think I was born 100 years too late. Traveling near Darien, I'm Mark Kane, WISC News 3.